Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your November 2017 Astro Update. It's Raina here. So you, Pisces, have a lot of energy in the ninth house of long-distance travel, your philosophical beliefs, and higher learning. And because that Scorpio, a fellow water sign, as well as having some stuff happening in your 10th house, which is your career house in Sagittarius, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have a combination of those two houses as part of what is happening. So for instance, if you are in academia and you happen to be working abroad, this could play into what's going on. If, so if you're a professor, if you're teaching English as a second language, even I could see something like that. So your work is combined with your travel. And uh, so let's take this methodically. On the fourth, there's a full moon in your third house of communications in the sign of Taurus. So what is the third house? The third house is the internet or any other mode of uh, communication, like even talking on the phone. It could be something like that. It can be public speaking, teaching. So there again, we're seeing that connection with the ninth house, which is the opposite house to the third house. So with full moons, there can be some highlight of that area. The third house is also siblings. So you may find out something about one of your brothers or sisters. Uh, it can be answer aunts and uncles and cousins. It can be your local area. Sometimes it's endings. So you may be moving from an area and you're saying goodbye to your neighbors and stuff like that. So that's happening. You know, one thing that could happen, this is for sure, is that you can find out something via the internet. So you discover something about somebody and it's online. Also, you could be finishing some kind of a project that you were doing online. Maybe you were constructing a website and now you're done with that. And so that's on the 4th. And then we have a couple of transits on the 7th. Mercury goes into Sagittarius, which is your 10th house of career. So that means that for the first week of the month, Mercury is in Scorpio in that ninth house. You may be on the phone uh, making your travel arrangements, okay? Because that is a very strong theme for you in from now until November of uh, 2018, that expansion that the ninth house represents. And Jupiter is now in Scorpio. So Jupiter is in that ninth house. Jupiter likes the ninth house because that is its natural uh, place. Uh, it rules the ninth house. So that's why the ninth house is what it is. When we talk about something like traveling a long distance. That is an expansive activity. It, it helps to give people growth. And so Jupiter is all about that type of expansion. So Mercury goes into your 10th house. You may be hashing things out related to your career, uh, signing contracts. Again, this may connect with uh, travel too. So, and you know, it, it doesn't have to be with teaching. It can be like, maybe you're doing contract work overseas. Venus on that same day goes into the ninth house. So Venus for the first week of the month is in the eighth house. That makes me also wonder if some of you are dealing with inheritance issues because Venus can bring money wherever she travels. And in the eighth house, we're talking about other people's money. So whether it is inheritance or whether it's a divorce decree and there is some kind of a mutual 
funds that are being divvied up or something along those lines that could be featured here. And then Venus in the ninth house can give you the money to travel, um, especially if it's connected to something with your career. It can also mean that you fall in love with somebody overseas or from a foreign background. Mars is going to be in Libra all month long, and that is your eighth house. So I would not be surprised if some people are kind of duking it out about some kind of a will. And that may be why you are dealing with siblings. Uh, the full moon in the third house could be you finding out something about your siblings. Maybe um, one of your siblings is trying to take the money from, from everyone else. Or maybe there's just two of you and you find out about him or her. So just keep in mind, Pisces, that when it comes to this sort of thing, if you are dealing with an estate, try to maintain your integrity at all times, even when it appears that someone is being dishonorable. Because money um, should never, it's not about money should never come between family members, because sometimes other people bring that on by their own actions. And certainly if somebody's doing something dishonorable, uh, it's not really a good thing uh, to be a doormat either. But if um, it was somebody's wishes to leave one of your other family members more money, and that just rubs you the wrong way, you might want to just like really think about what you're getting into and if it's worth it, because maybe sometimes it's absolutely what you should do. And maybe sometimes you're just aggravating yourself. And when all is said and done after lawyer's fees, you'll not be left with much difference. It all depends on the situation. Okay. So let's see what else is happening. So you are going to have a new moon on the 18th in that ninth house, that expansive house. So if you've been trying to maybe make travel plans, you may finally hit the jackpot and everything's underway. You're ready to go. And the sun goes into Sagittarius on the 21st of the month. So a few days later and that's your 10th house of career. So then you have the sun going there. You feel this sense of optimism and you are much more, you may be much more outgoing because when the sun is in Scorpio, it's natural for people to feel much more introspective and not as, and, and more reserved. But now you may be feeling a little bit more boisterous and you may be anticipating some kind of a trip that you're taking or just even resettling overseas, at least temporarily. And on the very next day, the 22nd, Neptune, your ruler, goes direct. And I think that this is going to be a very nice time for you. Pisces, because whenever our ruler goes retrograde, we may feel a little bit off kilter. And when Neptune is retrograde, things are much more um, harsh because the fog has cleared. And it's good to have fog clear, but it's also nice to have that dreamy state, which you are known for. And so you're going to get back the dreaminess and this is in your first house of the self. So I think that you're going to feel that forward movement since this is the, the planet that rules you. And with the sun in your career sector, along with Mercury, and you have all these plants in the ninth house, I dare say that Pisces 
is really rocking and rolling. You have a lot of expansive energy, a lot of optimism, and that's going to carry you through the month of November. Okay, Pisces. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have an amazing November. Bye.